All right, what's happening, friends? Welcome back for another episode of Wayne Cast. This is number 72 on the docket, and joining me in the studio is Chris Williams. Hello, 72. 72. Wow. We are old enough for SSI plus 10 years. <laughs> yep. Our little brittle bones. Yeah. I think the two of us together are probably older than There's 72. actually 72 year olds listening. Be like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guys. Oh my goodness. All right. So today I want to talk about Google ads. Yeah. So Google ads is a pretty boring topic. I would say, um, for most people, um, if you don't know what a Google ad is, just Google like mechanic. Right. And then usually at the top of the Google search page, there are three ads. They'll have a little ad symbol next to them. You might see a map and then you'll see the normal search results under that. So is it traditionally three? Cause I feel like I've seen like, cause it's, Honestly, I ignore them. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so like when I search for whatever, I just go add, 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 and then that one. But sometimes yeah. I feel like the things that I'm searching for, and if I'm in a hurry trying to search for them, I'm like, all of these ads, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just scrolling. It seems way more than three. It seems like the whole first page is ads. So it can be. Okay. So so basically the way that it works is you have three ads on the top, yeah, three on the bottom, yeah, and then there's also local service ads which are like local trusted professionals in your area. Okay. And that's a completely separate ad panel. So that can be, and that goes horizontal. So that can scroll for. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know. I've seen that. Yep. So when you look at like, if you're looking for a local service, like a plumber, so anyone that's right. listening, that's not driving, just go ahead and search for a plumber and you will see a ton of ads yeah. because it'll be the local service professionals. It'll be the standard Google ads. You'll have advertisements on Google Maps, and then right. you'll have the right-hand side uh, Google business profiles. Right. Based on whatever map result you click on. Yep. <clears throat> so where most people get Google ads wrong is just in the overall uh, details that you can put on them. So if you're, a, if you're looking for software, right, let's say you're looking for project management software, you might see Monday and Asana and ClickUp and you know, that's a really good way to help research. Mm -hmm. And and one other thing that's really funny is I, I see like some of our employees sometimes they'll go and Google things and they'll click on the ad and it just makes me laugh because like it might right. be an app that we already use, like Asana. Yeah. It's like, well, that's like a dollar twenty five. Yeah, that's charged. I've, <laughs> I've heard you say that before. <laughs> and that's usually why I ignore them now because I'm like, okay, well, I don't want to charge them because I'm being I'm yeah. being a good boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. But <laughs> I'm like I can't find what I'm looking for, so then I end up clicking the ad anyway. Yeah, I wonder if people like, because we were on ads for Speakeasy. So I wonder if people are just searching, like in the company, or yeah. searching that. It's like, what's our website again? And they're just dropping those ads. <laughs> it's fine. Oh. It's fine. So we use so we use a software, then this is completely, like a left term. We use a software called um, ClickSease. Yeah. And ClickSease stops people from clicking on your ads multiple times or it will hide it from a re recurring IP. Okay. So if someone is looking for the ad a bunch or looking for the website a bunch, it'll hide the ad from them and just deliver the website. Okay. So that's a neat little software that we have tacked onto Google ads that we use for our clients. But what I want to talk about today is, is really just kind of how Google ads work in terms of setting them up, uh, how you should use them in terms of competitors and then what the actual laws are surrounding Google ads. Cause there are a lengthy set of things you can and cannot do sure. with Google ads. Right. So you develop websites. So I know that you structure landing pages for the ads that I run. Right. So we work together on a lot of them, but you don't engineer the ads. Correct. You engineer where people go to once they see the ads. Right. So uh, you already kind of gave me your feedback on you don't <laughs> you don't see the ads you roll through them on your daily habits. So have you ever yeah. found them to be useful for anything you're looking for? Oh yeah, yeah. That was another thing I was going to ask. So like with the click cease, I know we're kind of going back into That's that, fine. which can yeah. be a whole other episode. Absolutely. But like if that website that you keep searching for, so say like Speakeasy, if I'm looking to do a podcast and I'm searching Speakeasy, and you know I'm doing my research because I want to know what I'm going to buy before I buy it, I go to the site. And then I'm reading all the information. Something happens. I close the tab or I, yeah. you know, I'm now I'm in a bus and I'm looking through and I go and I click that again. And so I repeatedly go to the speakeasy site. Yeah. Will click cease eventually block me? They'll block you from seeing the ad. But okay. hopefully by that time you have so much stored in your browser for browser history, sure. your search results will be finely tuned to what you've right. searched before. Okay. So the ad might go away, but the yeah. site will still keep coming up. 
Yeah, and, and, and they also do it to where, like, competitors can't see your ads. So they'll make educated guesses on what your competitors' IPs are based on existing data in okay. their database, and they'll block them from being able to see it, Yeah, which is kind of neat. Okay. So I've had two occurrences since I've ran ads where I've had competitors of other companies get upset with the way that we run ads. Sure. Now, again, this is one of those things where it's like, well, why would you talk about this? Well, it's super important to talk about because you don't, you don't know what the rules are unless you actually walk through them with people sure, and you just right. assume. Yeah. So let me give you a, let me give you a pop quiz yeah. while we're here. So, um, so let's say you run Chris's website company, yep. not trademarked. Sure. Can I use your name in my ad copy? So, so Rob's website company runs an ad that says Chris's website company sucks. Yeah. So it might be like, we are better. And then the bar. Yeah than Chris's website company. Because you only have so many characters. Are you saying, you can, can you do that? Yeah, is it legal for me to do that? Oh, I have no, it wouldn't be very nice. <laughs> <laughs> right. That made me sad. I, I, <laughs> you Google your name and you're like, damn it. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> I just started. Right. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. <laughs> so, so the answer is it is legal. It okay. is legal for you to do that. Yeah. Now, mm. it's mean, yeah. but legal. It's meagle. <laughs> 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 So the, the whole thing about Google ads, so there's many components to this. So I'm going to try and break this down to be really simple. So when you run a Google ad, so let's say I'm running for a flower shop. Yeah. There's keywords behind the ad that generate the ad populating for a user. Okay. So if I go to Google and I type in local flower shop, I need to have that keyword in my ad, not where you can see it but in the background to where those are the search sure. terms that you're targeting. Yeah. So kind of like my alt tags and images. exactly. Okay. Yeah. So you might see an image and the alt tag might be local mechanic, but right. no one will ever read that on the website. That's right. just in the metadata of the picture. Sure. Ads are the exact same way. The copy is what's front and center. Okay. But the, the keywords, those are what's generating the ad. Okay. So I'll give you my favorite example of all time to use is Apple and Samsung had a Google ads battle. Okay. Back when like the, the S7 and the iPhone 7 came out. Nice. So when you would Google iPhone 7, Samsung said, that's weird. We think you meant the S7. Oh. Which is pretty clever. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. that was a copyright issue that was litigated. And it was shown that Samsung did not break any copyright oh. issues because they targeted the keyword iPhone 7, iPhone 7 never appeared in the ad copy. Right. So because iPhone 7 is trademarked, sure. and you, can't, you can't use that in your advertisements. You can use it fair use. Right. You can't use it as an ad. That didn't break any rules because the ad copy just said, that's weird. We think you meant right. S7. Yeah. So Smart. it's assuming that yeah. that's what the person searched, which if that's the only keyword you put in, that's exactly what they searched. Right. So it's genius. So when I have people that the first time this ever happened, we were running ads for a local company here in Michigan. One of their competitors called and said, hey, when I search my name, your company comes up. You can't do that. My company's trademarked. Right. I sent over that whole policy. Nice. And I said, have him read this. Yeah. I said, if you're the business owner, if you want me to take his name out of your search, we can. That's up to you. Right. Um, but the point of that is to get awareness for your brand when people search other brands. Sure. Right. It's not an effort to be mean or... Right. But, but when you're when you're searching, like for us, local marketing company, you're going to get 10 results. Right. I want to be on the top. Right. Or at least on the top three. Sure, yeah. And if someone's doing Google ads and they search another company and they're like, oh, I heard of this company for video services, mm -hmm. I want them to know that Wayne Media does video services as well so they can compare. Right. Because they might not have heard of me. Yeah. So it's not me trying to rip off right. these other companies. Yeah. It's to get the edge and get the client another... Right. Uh, you know, some comparison. Yeah. And, and also too, like when we run ads, like that's like, that's never more than 20% of the ad budget whenever sure. I run that, because that should not be what an ad campaign is focused on. If you're only focused on your competitors, right. You're not going to have any meaningful business because what's going to happen is you're going to get more calls for, Oh, I thought this was company a, <laughs> but it's not okay. Have a great day. Now we're just wasting time. Sure. So it needs to be precise. It needs to be a part of the actual strategy, but the majority of your strategy should be the general keywords, you know, video company in Brighton, website developer in Brighton, Squarespace right. developers, whatever it is, those should be your main keywords. Okay. 
Because then you're going to be getting calls like, oh, I thought this was, you know, Brighton Marketing Company. Right. It's like, no, it's not. It's a really awkward sales call. It's not, but. <laughs> yeah, it's like we used to be. We bought them. So let yeah. me tell you about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's what you got to do. That's, yeah, a, that's a much go. better strategy. Right. Yeah, lying. That always yeah. works. Yep. No, and, that, and that's the whole thing is you want to be honest in your approach. Sure. And you want it to be a part of the strategy without being manipulative. So the second time this happened was actually recently. By recently, I mean today. (laughs) And what happened was we had a, and I want to try and leave industries out of this, I think, just just for our own benefit. Um, Because it really does no good. Even though, even though you don't want to be meagle. Yeah, you don't want to be meagle. (laughs) Uh, Legal, but mean. I like it. So what happened was we had, the, the way an ad is structured, and I'll put a screenshot up of this, so when we put it in post, you guys can see what it looks like. But you basically have a URL that appears at the top of every single ad. Right. And you can make that URL say whatever you want. So it can be waynemedia.com slash awesome marketing company. Right, okay. And that URL doesn't need to exist on your website. Ah, okay. Because when they click on it, you put what the trace URL is where it actually goes to. So it's just okay. another way of marketing your company because you know slugs are boring sometimes. Sure, right. It might be like speakeasynetwork.com slash Louisville Studio. Right. But you could put Louisville or speakeasynetwork.com slash, you know, nation's best podcast studio or whatever it is. Right. Just another keyword for people to be like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Just another branding tip. You then have the copy of the ad. It's not a trademark issue when you're using the URL in the top and you use another company's name in there. Sure. You just want to be wise with it, right? Because you don't want you don't want to bring attention to other companies either with your ads. So it's right. you know, it's not really a great idea. And when you're using your ad copy, it's best suited if you use keywords that match the keywords you're targeting. So okay. if I'm saying website developers in my keywords, I want website developers to somewhere appear in the ad copy. Right. And what will happen is sometimes competitors will search their own name or they'll search keywords. They'll see other people coming up. Right. And they'll get frustrated because their ads are down here and your ads are up here. <laughs> yep. And then they just get nitpicky. So that's what happened here. Somebody okay. got super nitpicky about one of the keywords that was showing up on the top of the ad. And it had nothing to do with that person's company. Sure. But they wanted to make it a big deal. Right. And the, the, the owner of the company we run ads for had called me and he was all on our side. He's like, this right. is great for me yeah. uh, because they're making themselves look foolish. Right. And cause they made this big social media post and like, you know, we're copying and I'm like, dude, like and even people were commenting on that guy's post saying you're wrong. Like, what are you talking <laughs> about? No. So it, it was, it just turned into this whole big thing where it's like, dude, it does no benefit for any marketing company to use your company's name in their copy. That just draws attention to you and makes them look deceptive. Right. Yeah, because if I'm just a regular guy looking for whatever company and I look at somebody's ad and see somebody else's company, I now know that there's somebody else that I can check out. Right. So, like, you know, I have that competition right there to go look. And, like, have you ever been to a business before where, like, car dealerships are famous for this? Like when I was a kid, I was like 18, 19, I was buying my first car Mm -hmm. and I decided to go with the Jeep Liberty that I ended up buying. But I went to another dealership before that just to do some price comparisons because my dad had recommended that that'd be a good idea. Sure. And I told them what I was buying and where I was buying it from. And for like the whole 30 minutes I was there, they were just trashing the car, Mm -hmm. the dealership, the people there. Like, how do you think that made? Right me feel about the dealership I was at if they're so quick to tear down somebody else. Right. Yeah, that's dirty. Have you ever been to a place where like they just knock the competition? Oh, yeah, yeah like, right. Does that make you feel yeah. like, wow, I really want to work with these guys? No, yeah, it's it's totally, it gives that idea of like how two-faced. Like, you're, you know, they're putting all smiles to you, but, you know, as soon as they turn their back, they're, you know, wow, yeah. got them. <laughs> And, and you and I have been in situations before where just from websites, we get websites from other companies right. and it's almost a rule. Like, well, even if the website that we got isn't good or if there's problems with it, mm-hmm. I don't know what the communication looked like between the client and that developer. So I'm right. not going to sit here and say, well, this web developer sucked because right. of the product of the website. Right. It might be bad communication from the client. Mm-hmm. It might be that that's the template that they had given them that they wanted. Right. There's just so many things you don't know. So it just does no good to sit there and shit on these people that you don't know what the motives were. It just makes you look stupid. Yeah. So like to this day in sales meetings, I've never been like this other marketing company sucks. This other website company sucks. Cause I don't know them. Right. 
And it does no good for me to try and stand on someone else's shoulders that I just beat down. Right. Just makes me look stupid. Yep. Like a bully. Yeah. Especially when you're doing it publicly. <laughs> yeah. Of another. So now all of your potential customers are looking at this guy going like, wow, he is very short tempered and just blew up all over the place, you know, about something that he doesn't even know, didn't even research or try to find out, like yeah. didn't call us or anything, just, you know, wants to explode and then shoot first, ask questions later. Yeah. Is he going to do that to me? <laughs> you know, is he going to do that to me when I, when, if we have a dust up or a problem right. and that's why I like, I thought about this cause like I was a little irritated about what happened today. Sure. And I was like, I still can't do it because it, it just doesn't, it's not a good look and right. it, it serves no purpose. What does serve purpose though is us educating people about how Google ads work and what the legalities of it are. And then talking about situations. So that way, if, if you're listening and you run Google ads or if you are a business owner and someone runs Google ads for you, you know a little bit more about it. That's right. the whole point of this episode yep. is not to say, you know, company A is deceptive or company B sucks. Like, and there are sucky companies out there, but it does no good to highlight them unless it's high boo. Those guys <laughs> suck. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, high boo. <laughs> I'm not. Right. So it just does no good to talk about, you know, people in that light because it just doesn't make you, it doesn't make you seem any better than them. Right. Unless it's high boo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for them. Yeah. That's a long story, but yeah, yeah. that's, that's, a, that's a podcast for another time. I think I've actually done a podcast on them, but, but that's like a whole I think bankruptcy restructuring. We're going to take people's money and then shift it. Over. It was a whole mess. Yep. It's almost like a Bernie Madoff type of thing. Mm -hmm. Like a suit for defamation next week. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it just, it like the whole thing is like, there's enough business for everyone. So like when I see like a new marketing company move into town, if another marketing company comes to a networking group, I'm not like, let's burn them to the ground. Right. Like what? Give what? them dirty looks. And yeah. Like, like what business? Trip like, them when they walk by. Yeah. Because not only is there enough companies for everybody, we're not the right match for every company. Right. Like I had a, I had a female come to me the other day and said, we want kind of a female centric marketing company. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, we, you know, we're 50, 50, right. like we are 50% male, 50% female, but on the, on the web development side, like if you want like a female centric web developer, that's going to understand women's products. Like that's probably right. not us. Right. You yeah. know, like we, if you hold our hand and walk us through it, like we can definitely sure. knock it out of the park, but you know, so you gotta be comfortable. Right. So it's, so the point of that is there's not a, there's no bad blood that's needed just because there's competition in the area. Right. You know, like someone emailed me recently and said, Hey, we're going to set up like a really small podcast studio in our space. Does that bother you? I was like, no, like, why would that bother me? Yeah. Like it's just, it's going to be different. You know, it's no one's going to replicate what speakeasy does. I'm not going right. to replicate what they do. Like right. it's, it's, it's just going to be different. And I, and I welcome any competition. Sure. Cause that means that industry is growing in that area. Right. So that just makes me more excited than anything. Yeah. Like secretly, I want to dominate every podcast studio in the country. Well, not yeah. secretly, but just like that's, that's my goal. Like I right. want to be sure. number one, but yeah. I'm not going to use terrible tactics to get to the top of that. Right. So, yeah, it's it's a whole big thing. But Google Ads, there is rights and wrongs and, and things you really need to be aware of. And and for the love of God, don't use express mode when you're setting up Google Ads <laughs> because then Google's just picking all your copy and keywords and spending your money aimlessly. Yep. Use pro style ads. So any final thoughts? No, so with this guy, how did does it's still ongoing or it's, it's all resolved now. Like the, the gentleman decided to remove his post where he was flaming the other our company. ad work. Okay. You know, it was that company, but we did the ad work for sure. it. Sure. Cause he just, he just didn't understand how it worked. Right. And then someone educated him on it and he's like, wow, I look dumb. Okay. And it's, it's like, bad. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I, my goal is not to make a company big by tearing another one down. Like that just right. serves no purpose. Right. Um, I've always believed in like just meritocracy. Like your business is going to scale based on who you are as a person. Right. And if there's bad people running bad companies, the market's going to correct them and shut them down. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Right. I mean, there's always outliers. Sure. You know, there's people that have been in business for too long and their businesses are too unethical and yep. you, know, you can't catch them all. But the hope is that the majority of them can be corrected through the market. Yeah. So, 
And, and that's the thing too, is like, if, if someone called me from that company and was like, Hey, I'm sorry about that. It's like, it's all good. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to grind an ax. I don't have enough time for that. <laughs> right. like, I don't have time to sit there and worry right. about like what people think about me or what people think about what I'm doing. Like, I know what I'm doing is fine. Right. It's just not worth it. And that was the thing that made me laugh the most was like, you have time as a business owner to sit here and do this. I like know. it just blew my mind. Yep. Like we don't have time for that. We have time for TikTok and developing websites. That's, That's it. it. <laughs> <laughs> You're cashed out after yeah, that. Yeah. So, all right, man. Anything else? No, I think that's it. Two episodes in a row. Look at you oh. being consistent. I'm back earning that paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't suspend me again. Right. Yeah, we'll see. We'll get Julia in the in the, in the hot seat next week. Yeah. Of you out there, engineering shows. Is you good with that, Julia? The Peeler cast. She is not good with that. So, all right. Well, that will wrap up episode 72. That's crazy. We're going to hit 100 this year. Dang. We're going to hit 100 by like, I'm trying to do some quick math here. Four, five, it's like 26 divided by four. It's like Carries two. seven weeks. Nice. Seven weeks. We'll be over 100. Okay. That's neat. So long as you know, nothing happens. Right. Plus accidents, yada, yada. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, we'll be good. So, yeah, that's cool. 100 episodes. Yep. How do you feel about that? It's cool. When did I, I came on around 60, 50, 50, 55, 56, somewhere around there. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. So I got back from Louisville. Cause what happened was just real quick. Um, when I got back from Louisville, I was like, I really need to just do something different. Cause I was interviewing business owners one-on-one. Right. But you and I always have great conversations about all things <laughs> yeah, marketing right. gaming. I was like, it just makes sense. Yeah. You know, have I you need a guy here. that doesn't know anything about businesses <laughs> on the show. <laughs> Not at all. Right. Not at all. You know a lot about a lot of things. Yeah. And and just like when we talk about streaming or sure. gaming yeah. or, you know, even like tech. Right. Like usually you're the person that's like, hey, have you seen this? Right. Like, especially on the website front. It's like, have yeah. you seen? I have not. Right. You know. So it's great having you here. Yeah. Listenership no, is double. Yeah. It went down while you were gone. No. So people are watching for you, not me. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. So <laughs> let's be Chris Cast. Uh, it's like that crisscross guy. Sweating bullets. Yeah. <laughs> Be no pressure. Yeah. The show. It'll be good. All right. Well, that's going to wrap up this week's episode of Wayne Cast. Appreciate you all listening. Uh, one request. If you can review this show on Spotify, that would mean a whole lot. They have reviews now. And you can just go to Wayne Cast on Spotify and drop a review. One star, five star. Just be honest. It was, it's always weirds me out when people are like, oh, it's just five stars only. It's like, no. If you think it sucks, tell me. Right. Maybe I can fix it. Yeah. This doesn't suck. It's good. It's always going to be five those stars. those weird ones where it's like one star, but it's like greatest show I've ever listened to. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, thanks, mom. Right. <laughs> Shit the button wrong. Right. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that'll wrap up this week's episode of Wayne Cast. Thanks so much for listening. Have a fantastic week. Take care. <laughs>